back here today and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you guys. I'm doing a like styling for skinny and petite small girls. Before we get into the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to my favorite comment of the week. So this is my favorite comment from last week's YouTube video. Thank you so much for sending that through and if you want to be featured in next week's video, make sure to comment down below and I will feature you in the next video. But yeah, let's just get into it. I'm too sexy for my love, too sexy for my love, love's going to leave me. I feel like as a skinny and petite girl, majority of us tend to steer away from things like sweatpants because they're really baggy and loose and feel like they would not help complement our bodies at all. In actual fact, if styled properly with a nice crop top, balance out the bagginess of the bottoms, they would actually look really well together. Something that I feel is so important as being a skinny petite girl is always finding the right pair of fitting pants. I found these from Supre recently and I have been in love. I've mentioned this once, I've mentioned this twice, and I'm gonna mention it again. Finding pants that actually fit your legs properly are gonna be the most beneficial thing to you ever. If you find that you struggle with pants or jeans that fit your skinny and petite body, try to find stores that offer like a range of variety of sizes. If you aren't able to find any pants like that, as long as you find pants that fit your waist really well, you could always get them tailored. They're honestly like, not too expensive it probably costs like 10 to 15 dollars to tailor and honestly it would be such an investment especially if you're planning on wearing those pants for like five or so years and try to get all the wear out of them as much as you can finding the right pair of pants is so essential for skinny and petite girls because as you can see already i've made so many different outfits with this already and honestly since buying them they have been my go-to and most favorite pants to wear i cannot take them off they are so perfect for just like running errands looking casual or going on a night out or a date night like this i've seen these shorts everywhere and honestly it really proves to you the power of marketing because I thought they were so ugly when I first saw them and I kind of thought like, who the heck is gonna wear this? But me, I did, I gave into it. It's kind of like that mermaid effect in How I Met Your Mother. The more you see it, the more you spend time with it, the more like attractive it becomes to you, which is why I bought it. I initially thought it wouldn't look good on my like skinny and petite body because it is quite a long pair of pants and also very, very baggy. But as you can see here, pair it with like a halter top something tight fitting or even pairing it with like a sweater it really still doesn't drown out my figure or anything like that and still looks really cute Not really feeling the oversized sweater look. Well, again, we're switching it up for a nice crop top and wearing this oversized blazer. As I've mentioned before, I've been really obsessed with the Model of Judy look lately. And honestly, my go-tos are Hailey Bieber or Kendall Jenner. I have genuinely been loving wearing an oversized blazer. It just really spices up the outfit in a way that you didn't think would like look good with it but it does in the end or if you're not really into the oversized blazer which honestly i would encourage you to look into if you don't already own one um you could always switch it out for an oversized button down shirt i have this white corduroy one which i really like and i decided to match my brown tank top to my um new louis vuitton bag um it's so crazy that i have this and even all the other bags that i am kind of showing you guys in this video it's not sponsored at all i just took a trip to cairns which is north of australia and oh my gosh Annie's family and family friends were so generous just giving us like a lot of gifts which was so unbelievably kind of them and which is why i am featuring them in this video wearing an oversized shirt or an oversized jacket isn't something that you should steer away from because you feel like you're gonna lose your waist or figure as long as you're wearing something that's a bit more tighter fitting or i guess like a crop top and high-waisted pants or shorts or jeans i think it'll be fine and you really won't lose your figure or your waist at all i just decided to throw on this huge denim oversized jacket over this crop top and bike shorts honestly i don't necessarily feel 100 percent comfortable walking around in an 
in a crop top like this and bike shorts out anyways so i love that the oversized jacket can give me a bit of comfort hiding my little body underneath i think this outfit is super cute and again very uh model of judy which is 100 percent what we're trying to go for and the reason why i use like kendall jenner and hailey bieber as like my fashion inspiration lately is because i'm trying to find more women or girls that have the same similar body style as me i'm not like as skinny as like Kendall Jenner or as tall as Hailey Bieber or anything like that but you know I really like the idea of kind of just trying to like follow people that have the same similar ish kind of body features like really small chest little to no butt at all and kind of just like um not to insult them or anything because I absolutely love them but in a way like kind of more petite more bony more skinny and kind of just seeing what they wear and how they style for their body because it really just gives me a lot of inspiration as to where i can really push the boundaries with the fashion what i can wear for myself that would really suit me and what wouldn't suit me at all and honestly i would 100 percent encourage you guys as well to experiment in your fashion and try all these different things that you honestly thought you couldn't pull off in the first place like i used to be so worried about wearing blazers because i thought the shoulder pads would really drown me out make me look really tiny and really petite but i've found myself absolutely loving blazers even the ones with the big shoulder pads same goes for this dress i used to think that you know girls with like i guess like a bigger butt or i guess like some kind of cleavage would be able to pull this off but i genuinely love it for how it looks on my body and i wouldn't change my body any other way i 100 percent believe though anyways that if you are a little bit insecure about how you look like you might think that you'll look bony in these kind of dresses or really skinny i think that these kind of dresses honestly look best on like really tall and slim girls or just really slim girls in general i feel like they would pull this off so well so slender and this dress is honestly so much more better anyway if you don't really have a big chest i feel like it just would look so classy and elegant especially depending on the way that you wear your hair up yeah just trying to like hype you guys up i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching like this video if you liked it though and subscribe i will try to post a new video every single thursday follow me on instagram it's at ivy underscore nicole with two e's goodbye